Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and I'm going through my culinary questions with Kimberly uh, questions that I've been receiving through the website which are very very cool questions by the way and the one I would like to address today is what are the differences between is there a difference between milk and half and half cream now there is a huge difference between half and half and milk okay the butterfat content in half and half is dramatically higher than the than what you find in milk in half and half it's about twelve and a half percent milk fat in milk it's typically between zero and four now zero milk fat being skim milk right so you guys pick the one percent or two percent or homogenized or whatever okay so this makes a really big difference to taste and to the texture as well as the calories, okay? Half and half is much thicker than milk. It coats your tongue. It tastes thick and actually tastes kind of fatty. Uh, milk doesn't coat nearly as well and tastes very clean. Um, however, many occasions you're going to be, um, it, it's going to call for half and half cream. And in those kind of recipes, there's some that you can substitute back and forth, milk and cream. But in in specific recipes, for instance, a recipe for an angel kiss, okay, which is an alcoholic beverage, like a mixed drink, a shot, and you have um, you put creme de cacao in the bottom, and then you float half and half cream on top. Now, if you pour it very slowly, it just floats on top because it has a higher fat content. It's going to float right but if you try to do that with milk it would just mix all in and be all a creamy drink and it would not be the same kind of thing so this is that's an example of you can't substitute milk all the time with cream okay um, yeah it'll float on the top it makes it really pretty it makes it a nice clean layer it's very smooth it's nice um, it's also delicious in cream sauces like alfredo sauce um, it goes better in coffee than milk it's from what coffee connoisseurs tell me um, as opposed to my tea I prefer milk in it no cream it doesn't make sense in tea for me basically for something that tastes very much a lot richer such as a dessert you'll want to use cream as opposed to milk unless you're on a diet if you're on a diet then yes you can try and substitute okay um, if you're in a pinch and you don't have half and half then yeah replace it with milk same thing back and forth. If you're stuck and you don't have milk and you could possibly use cream, go ahead and use it. Um, a fat content like butter and oils and stuff like that really um, carry flavor profiles throughout dishes and meals. So, hey, uh, you could be increasing your flavor dramatically if you use half and half sometimes as opposed to uh, milk. Um, however, if you are baking, baking breads or cookies or whatever, baking something. Do not substitute milk for half and half or vice versa because uh, baking recipes are usually pretty specific and they're very clear on what exact um, ingredients you need and the amounts, okay? Once you start messing with that, you can really screw up a loaf of bread or, or something like that if you're switching ingredients out, if you're not educated and you don't know and you've never done it before. So if you're baking anything you're trying to bake in an oven, like bare breads, cookies, stuff like that, don't substitute half and half with milk or vice versa, okay? So yes, there's a huge difference between milk and half and half. It's the fat content, basically. And... Uh, there's times you can substitute, there's times you can't. And I hope that I let you guys know exactly what each one is very good for. Okay, so make sure you ask me more questions, culinary questions with Kimberly. Thanks for not missing this episode. Make sure you check me out on YouTube, youtube.com slash cookingwithkimberly. Follow me on Twitter at cookingwithkime with a capital E. And like the fan page, it's facebook.com slash cookingwithkimberly. All right, everybody? Hope that helps you all out in the kitchen. Be champions. Ciao.